Welcome back to the Willie's Pickup Project. Last time I finished up the floor on the passenger side, and on this episode, we're going to move over to the driver's side. Now, it's been just a little bit of time off since I worked on this. I took about a week and a half and I built a tree house for our granddaughter. So now with that done, I can get back on the truck here. Another thing that happened between these two episodes is I was finally able to track down a decent wheel and a brand new tire as a spare for this truck. I've got the other four done now, um, but I still needed a spare, so that's all done and ready to go. Before we get going, let me just talk a little bit about what we're going to do on this round. And this may be one or two videos. Um, just like the last round, uh, we need to start from the outside and work our way in. So what that means is that rocker is coming off and I've got a replacement here. So we'll do the same, same treatment there. And I know I've got some, a little bit of structural work underneath. Um, once all that is done, I can take care of the floor. And I don't know at this stage if it's going to need as much work as this side, but we'll know when I start digging into it. And then the other thing that's a little different from the other side, though, is that my cab corner is pretty bad. Um, the other side, I was able to just replace one little piece in the corner and the rest was good. But in this case, the whole cab corner really needs help. So I purchased another cab corner. And on this one, it's kind of interesting. Um, it doesn't, there's a bump out, right, that belongs right here. And it didn't come with that installed. They sent it as a separate piece. So I have to trim it. But then it goes, it goes in right there. So it's just a weld on piece. So we'll take care of that. So let's start digging into this thing and see what we have. Okay, I've been at it here with a stripping wheel and a wire wheel just to clean this up and see what things look like. I started on the bottom and it was actually pretty encouraging here. Uh, the metal, you know, I do have some holes. You can see them in there, but I don't see any pitting around them. So that gave me some hope that maybe I can just do some patching in here instead of replacing the floor, the whole floor, um, right up around the gas pedal. Oops, let me get this out of the way. There. Up around the gas pedal, it's a little worse. So this will all need work. But let's go around to the other, the, the inside. And I would say this is not as encouraging. You can still see all the, the same holes here. But what I'm seeing is, try to pick this up. There's so much pitting and deep, deep pitting in here that I don't see any reason to hang on to any of this metal. And I was really hoping up around these ribs it would be good so that I wouldn't have to make my own like I did on the other side, but I don't think I'm going to get away with that. It's funny, I think... The best of the metal is right between this last rib and the toolbox there. Speaking of the toolbox up inside, we get the same problem in there. It's just really pitted. So, and you can see we got lots of trouble down in there, but I knew about that. So at first it's a little curious that the side that's open to the weather was in better shape than the side that's not, but Keep in mind, this is where everybody gets in with their wet boots, with the salt on it, and then it just sits in there and goes nowhere. So I'm sure that's why the inside is worse than the outside. So I think my plan here is going to be to pretty much do the whole floor again like I did on the other side. Um, I may piece it out differently just to make it easier for myself. But that's the plan. I'm just going to probably make some patterns here before I even take this floor out. 
Um, and once I get done with my patterns, then I can cut that floor out. All right, first thing I want to do is free up this support member because when that floor comes out, it's got to be released from this. And I also want to get inside and see how the rest of this looks, see if I'm going to bother patching this or not. I got all these drilled out. This is loose now. Went ahead and took care of this brace as well so I can get this part of the floor out. Get up there. So that guy's opened up. And then this rocker brace all the way along there. I've got this all free. So when I take that floor out, it shouldn't hang up on anything. Now the next thing I want to do while I'm working on this is since I'm going to end up taking this rocker, I think I want to brace this here so this doesn't move. So what I'm going to do here is use, I'll, I'll make a plate for where the door hinge goes. I'll make another plate here for where this striker is for the door. I'll bolt that in and then I'll, I'll weld a bar between them. That way, when I'm done, I can just unbolt it and take it back out. Okay, we're all braced up. And I think the next thing I'm going to do is start figuring out how I want to cut this floor out and start making up my templates. Spent a little bit of time with some cardboard, scissors, and tape, and I've got my first piece put together. So I'm going to run it right up to the edge of this flange and up and around in there. I got to trim a little bit off up there. But I think this is how I'm going to start. Depending upon um, how big my sheet is on my sheet metal, I may end up you know, just running this straight and then doing that as a separate piece. But we'll just see how much metal I've got. Now this piece, I think I can do one piece that starts here, scoots down underneath and inside this toolbox. And I think most of the floor in the toolbox needs to be replaced. So I'll be basically drilling out all of these spot welds around here and separating this. And that way I can slide that new one straight in there. Okay, I got all the spot welds out of that flange, and here's, here's how I did it. I didn't really want to drill from the top down um, and leave a bunch of big holes, because this is going to remain, and this will be plug welded to the floor. Um, what I did, though, was drilled a pilot hole, just a little eighth inch pilot hole all along here, so I could see where those spot welds are because they were really obvious on this side. I couldn't see anything on the underside. With those pilot holes in place, then I was able to come through here with my uh, spot weld drill and just go through and hit each one of these. It was actually very easy to do that. Next, I'm going to cut away the floor, the existing floor. I'm not going to take all of it that's going. I'll just take um, a good portion of it, but not quite up to the edge where that new floor will go in. And I can do that final cut when I do my fitting on the patch.
We got a big chunk of the floor out all in one piece. And the good news is I got enough metal to replace it. Now I'm not gonna do it as a single piece. So it's just too hard to fit it in. So what I'll do is you saw that template I made. That'll cover this whole front section all the way down to here. And then I'll make a second piece that basically goes from here on down. And that what I can do with that one is fit it up from underneath and that'll make it a lot easier to do it from the bottom side. Really not that much different than what I did on the other side, but I ended up doing a couple of pieces there. Here, I'm gonna try to do this as one piece if I can. Um, this might make it a little bit complicated right in here. So we'll see if I can get away with doing just one piece from here down. Now that I have the floor out, I can attack the, the rocker. And I also have to do a cab corner. So I'm looking at this, trying to come up with the best way to do it uh, because I want, I want this thing lined up at the end. I want them back where they belong. I don't want it too low or too high. So I think the best way to do that is to leave one or the other in as a point of reference, and then I can work on it. But what complicates it a little bit is that this very back part um, is just rotted away of this inner, um, inner rocker support. And I have to fix that before I can put the rocker back on. And I also have work to do all the way back this far, which is behind that cab corner. So here's my plan. I think what I'm gonna do is remove the rocker just up to this point so I can expose this portion. I can build a new piece to fit in here. <clears throat> you can see last time I built a piece out of some heavier steel and welded it in. So I'll do the same thing over here. But what I can do is get this cleaned up, get something built and welded in to this point. I'll have this stuff out of the way I don't really need to weld in here. I can, I can just get it in place. And then when I get around to the rocker, then I'll have access to finish up the welding.
All right, let me show you what I'm trying to build and where it's going to go. Um, this is the other side, which I already finished. But I need to make this structural piece. So I'm going to show you how I make this angle. So it can be low here and then come up to meet this rocker support. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing. Uh, first of all, this is yet another piece of recovered metal off of an old trailer that I used and I hung on to this. It's a nice heavy piece and I think it'll work really good for that support. So what I did is just cut a little triangle out of each side and now all I need to do is pound it down. Okay, you get the idea here? What I'm going to do is clamp this together tight, and then I'll just weld each of these edges, and then cut this off straight. Let me show you how this all fits together. Um, this part seems a little weak, so I made just a little block to go up in here. So that will fit in there. I'll just put it somewhere around there. Now this piece will go right in here and it will butt up to that existing rocker support. I'll weld this together and then I'll add a little extra piece here and here and I'll have these welded together. Okay, I don't know if this is going to make sense to everybody but I'm going to use a couple of straight edges to get this aligned because this is just hanging free. It could end up being too far out and too far up. So what I've done is clamped a straight edge to this flange. And I know the floor attaches right to that flange. So all the way down here, that floor has got to land right underneath this. So I can use this to figure out my alignment this direction. And then I've got another straight edge running along this rocker. And the rocker has got enough structure to it that I know it's straight. And that comes down here. This will help me figure out my in and out. Do I have it in too far, out too far? So what I'll do is match this up with this outside piece down here. And then we can weld it in. All right, we got the rocker inner panel reattached to my new support member here. And it's nice and solid, so that's going to work out good. I've got a little more welding to do on this, but I can't do it till I get the cab corner off. Then I'll have access to the back side. So with this rocker in the right place, even with the old rocker here, I can use this as a reference, again, with a straight edge down to this point. It'll help me locate my cab corner. So I'm going to move on to the cab corner next. This is my new cab corner. We're going to, I already cut it down to what I want. It's going to fit right in here. I've marked the outer edges of where that goes. And I've already pre-drilled and taken out all the spot welds up on this side. Now what I want to do is just take a cut, probably well inside of those marks, just to get this piece out and get us started.
spot weld right here. I've got the panel lined up where I want it. I have the height exactly where it should be. And so what I'm gonna do here is put a couple of self tappers in just to hold this so that I can do my first cut. All right, I have no idea if this is the right way to do it, but this is how I'm doing it. I got this aligned along this nice straight edge. It's even here and I ran a couple of self tappers in there to hold it in place. Now back here, I just made sure that the bottom lip of this matched up with that bottom lip. And that's exactly where I want it. And I just clamped it down. Now what I want to do here is make a cut all the way along here. I'm just going to kind of put a diagonal slice in here to minimize the gap. I'm going to cut all along there. Then I can take this piece and kind of peel it back. Maybe I'll kind of zip it right to there. I'll take this out so I can drop this in and get this whole side um, back a little because it's sitting, you know, it's sitting this direction from where it needs to be. But this gives me the correct height. So I'm going to get that in and get it fastened, then I can work my way around and get this edge figured out. Okay, we're cut out. Let's fit it up. See how we're looking. Yeah, it looks right. That's where I want it. So I can't reuse those self tapper holes because that would pull it this way. I need to line it up now. So what I'll do is use a couple of clamps to hold it in place. I'll put one there and a little one down here to hold it where I want it. And then I can start working around to the other edge. Okay, I think we're all prepped and ready to put that cab corner on. Um, I had to add an extra piece down here and kind of graft that in because it was all rotten and the cab corner needs to attach all the way down to this point. So I've got that in place now and then I cleaned it up. I put um, a rust converter, then I put some self etching primer and then a coat of paint and then over these edges where, well, I think back here we will have a spot weld or a plug weld. And all along here, I put in weld through primer. All right, I prepped this panel in advance. I've got self etching primer and paint on here. And I pre drilled all the holes for my plug welds.
Okay, the corner's attached. Got it all plug welded and lined up and tack welded in. And it looks pretty good. The only thing I'm not thrilled about is that this thing really starts to bend out kind of back around much earlier than the other side. And I don't know, I don't know if there's much I can do about that, but I guess you only see one side at a time anyway. We got it all cleaned up. I got a good coat of uh, rust converter on here. Now let's get a coat of primer and then a coat of paint on that. Primer's done. Now let's get some paint on there. Whoops. I think I masked off the wrong flange. Let's fix it. Yeah, this is the flange I wanted covered because this is the one that we're going to weld to. Good. We're all painted up. Now we can fit up that rocker. All right, this was not very interesting, so I just went ahead and welded the rocker panel in. It's just a bunch of plug welds here and a little on each end. So I'm going to hit this with a grinder. Uh, I've got that cab corner. I'll hit that with a grinder, and then I'll be right back. All right, I got the rocker ground off. I think it's going to be fine. It's nice and strong, and it's sitting exactly where it's supposed to be. And then on this corner too, I finished welding it and then just ground it off. That's going to get a coat of filler before we're all done. But that's where it needs to be. So back on the driver's side, I still have to deal with this part that curves around. This is the piece they sent along. And it's supposed to go right there. But you can see we got such a gap on that curve, I can't really work with it. So I'm going to have to probably do some hacking right along that black line, maybe take a pie cut so that this can curve and follow that. But there's a couple other things I'm not real happy with. Number one, I've got to make up a piece to fill that gap right there. And then if you look, let's see if we can show you this. If you look down on the bottom, this piece is actually shorter this way than that piece. So I could just ignore it. Nobody's going to really see that. But I think I might try something before I settle on this. I might take a piece of the old rocker uh, because it's got more structure up here that can fill that gap and it fits better with this profile. So I may just take a minute and grind a chunk of this off and see if I can make something that would work better than the piece they sent along. Here's what I came up with. I took that piece of, um, I guess it was the old rocker panel, and I cut it to length I pie cut this and bent it down so it'll lay in like it's supposed to. And then on this edge, I actually contoured it to follow uh, the curve of this. I don't know if that's right. Well, I know it's not right, but once it's welded in, I think it's going to look as good as it can look. So this will still be fairly straight. So that should fit right in there like that. And then just weld it along all these seams and then I just have to patch a little piece in there. So I think this is going to work. Okay, this piece is done. I've got it welded back in and I've done some grinding on it. Um, I may hit it with a smaller grinder or I may just wait until I get to the body filler stage and smooth it out then. Either way, this is as far as I'm going with this piece, and I think it'll be just fine for this truck. Now, in the next episode, um, I want to finish up the floor. So I've got the floor on this side. It's going to start all the way up by the gas pedal and work its way down underneath this toolbox. Now, if you want to follow along on that progress, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can see when my new videos come out. And if you want to go back and see how we got to this point, there are 
a whole bunch of videos that begin with the day I brought this truck home up until the current time, and I will keep posting videos until this thing is done. I want to thank you for joining me, and hopefully we'll see you next time.